Hi there, this is Phil with PhilFX, and I've got a tutorial for our Art185 class. Today's subject is going to be working with uh, real-world units using Maya. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, I've discussed this before, and when you're working with Maya, uh, you know, predominantly, you know, we have a, this is an art class, and, and we're creating art. It's it's not a CAD program, and we're not trying to make things that'll run CNC machines. But that being said, when you create models uh, uh, of any object, and it's something that you think that uh, you definitely would like to reuse uh, and use potentially in future products, you should take the trouble to go in and, and make when you model that within Maya, you make it the size that it is in, in real life. And the way that you do this is you set what the units are for this uh, for the grids here that you see. And uh, the default for Maya is that the spacing of each of these grids, independent of the units, each of these grids what's called represent what's called a Maya unit. Okay, so if I have this box and I see that it is scaled and it is scaled one one in X, one in Y, one in Z. The one represents one Maya unit. So if I zoom in here and we look at this, we can see that it spans half of a Maya unit to the negative X direction and half of them or negative Z direction, half of a Maya unit to the positive Z direction. If I look at it this way, we can see that it's spanning half of a unit up and half of a unit down. So the total span, the total distance and the size of this box is one Maya unit. So it's one Maya unit on X, Y, and Z. And uh, that's the, the definition of the size of this box. Well, what's a Maya unit? Well, if we go into settings and preferences, and if I go down to settings, right here, the working units, they're linear, and a Maya unit at the moment represents a centimeter. All right. <clears throat> you can see we can change that. We can make it a millimeter, a meter, an inch, a foot, and a yard. So you can work in metrics, uh, or you can work with uh, uh, American dimensions. Uh, I always tend to work in uh, centimeters and millimeters and meters. It's just a whole lot simpler because everything's divisible by 10. And if I have dimensions of something that's, you know, here in the States, uh, I'll convert the feet and I'll convert it to centimeters or meters and work with uh, millimeters, centimeters, and meters. This is a more universal global standard uh, working with the MKS system and uh, it just makes life a lot simpler. So you should pick what you want to use and then stick with it. That way that you know that you always do your designs in yards or you always do your designs in millimeters. I choose to use the default for Maya which is centimeters. So right now one Maya unit is one centimeter. So if I take and what I've done is I've created three different projects and I've changed the units. All right. So let's close this and let's open up another one of the ones and I have uh, a one centimeter box that was made with meter units for Maya. So let's open that up and take a look at what that is. So what we've got here is if we go up and we look at my settings and preferences we can see that my working units is a meter. All right. So each square is one Maya unit and it represents a meter. If I click on this we can see the scale. The scale on this box right here is one unit, one unit, one unit. Now notice this is one unit, one unit, one unit and I said this is one meter by one meter. Well I had the other one open it was one, one, and one and they were one centimeters. That's because what you're seeing here in this dimensions that you see here, the units here are Maya units, not real dimensions. All right, so I've also made a very tiny box here, teeny, 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 tiny. And if we look at him, his scale is 0 0.01 by 0 0.01 by 0 0.01. Well, guess what? If my Maya units are one, mirror, one meter, 0 0.01 meters is one centimeter. So this box, this teeny, tiny little box, is truly one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. All right? So we've got a one centimeter box and we have a one meter box. Let's open up my other 
file and I'm using a one centimeter box but I'm using millimeters units in Maya so let's open that up and see what that looks like so now here is my one millimeter box see it's one Maya unit by one Maya unit and this the scale here is one one and one all right but if we go up and I look at my windows settings preferences we go to settings working units linear one millimeter okay or excuse me millimeters so I'm using millimeter as my working units all right so that's why this box one by one by one is a one millimeter by one millimeter by one millimeter now there's 10 millimeters to make a centimeter so if I click on this box lo and behold his size is 10 units and guess what so this box represents a box that's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter all right so let's go in and let's create a new scene and I'm going to import into this new scene those three different files now let's first check and let's see what our settings is so we go into settings and preferences settings here like I said my default is centimeters all right so my default Maya unit is centimeters so I go in and I'm going to file import and I click on import and that brings up a dialog box and I'm going to first import the one centimeter box in one centimeter Maya units and let's import that just to select the defaults and there's my box and that's exactly what you would expect it's one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter now let's import another one of my files and you have to use import not open so I import a one centimeter box with meter Maya units and I import that and everything goes dark well, what's happened well if you haven't guessed we're inside the one meter box so there's my one meter box and way over here is my one centimeter box so let's get this big guy out of the way and I'm going to slide him over there and then let's zoom up and I'm going to select him and bring him right over here so he's right next to my one centimeter box and we can see in fact my one centimeter box that I designed in my uh, Maya scene file where I used meters uh, uh, for my Maya unit is correct and you can see the scaling that it brings it in alright and, and the point zero one has to do with the fact that this is the scaling that's applied to it for the Maya units that it was brought in alright so that scaling is applied because of the Maya units that were used in importing alright and so let's import the third file we say import and we use the one with millimeter units and there's nothing there well this is all very very small right so here let me select this guy this is my one millimeter guy and there's my red one and I'll just move the green one out of the way and now we can see I truly have and you know you we talked about it I made a one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter box in all three of those files and when I import them they all come in at the correct size so what this means is when I uh, when you scale things you want to scale things properly and you want to set the size of your object uh, understanding the units that you're really working with in the real world so you uh, you change those by going into your settings preferences under settings and you change that to what you want the default setting is centimeters uh, you can however change that to millimeters meters or whatever you want so hopefully this will help you out in understanding how you work with real world dimensions using Maya 2017 this is Phil with Phil FX. thanks a lot bye